Welcome back to a series on multi-block structures and their applications. In the previous video, we have seen the case of an airfoil with a round trailing edge where we choose an O-grid. Today we will see how to create a multi-block C-grid mesh on an airfoil with sharp trailing edge. The case we have today is an airfoil with sharp trailing edge and a circular fall field. The airfoil's trailing edge forms a sharp obtuse angle in the meshing domain. An O-grid around the geometry can be created. However, near the trailing edge, the quality of the mesh is compromised. The skewness values of the cells at the trailing edge are 0.89, which is very high. In scenarios where the angle to be meshed is more than 180 degree, we can trisect the angle with a H-tab block to improve the mesh quality. By trisecting at the trailing edge, we create a C-type structure around the airfoil. In a C-grid, the grid line starts from the far field and moves forward around the leading edge of the airfoil and return back to the far field. Since the structure depicts the shape of the alphabet C, it is termed a C-grid. By creating a C-grid, the skewness value of the mesh at the trailing edge has improved to 0.41. The orthogonality of the mesh in this region has improved when compared to the O-grid. To sum it up, the grid structure for a geometry is decided mainly based on two factors, the shape of the geometry and the other being quality of mesh that is expected by the solver. With this, we end our series on multi-block structures and their applications. If you have any questions on what type of block structure you need to use for your geometry, do drop us a comment below. Feel free to write to us on support at the Thank you for watching. If you like this video, Leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for new videos. Follow us on our social media pages, the links are posted in the description.